for the food in there. It smells good. You can smell the lime in there. You can... I should be drinking this on a beach somewhere. But let's try it anyway. This drink is all freshness and the spiciness of the ginger. Vodka is just the vehicle for the flavors of the Thomas Henry spicy ginger. You can... Uh... What's up, bro? Eh, what you up to? Nothing. Just watching YouTube, drinking a mule. What's up with you? Nothing. Just watching YouTube, drinking a mule. True, true. Hey, yeah, hold up. I got someone calling. Hello? What's up? Who's that? What's up? Yo, who's that? It's Tyler. Put him on the line. Yeah, hold on. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, Tyler, what you up to, bro? Not much. Just watching some YouTube and drinking a mule. True. True. Welcome back, guys. Today we're making Moscow mules. Everyone loves Moscow mules, but let's face it, vodka's kind of boring. So, what I've done is I've partnered with Tyler from The Never Empty Bottle and Vino from 60 Second Cocktails and together we're going to bring you 12 Moscow Mule variations that you can enjoy. These are going to be amazing. So I'm going to start off with four Mule variations and then what you got to do is go over to Tyler's channel, Never Empty Bottle, for the next four and then Vino at 60 Second Cocktails for his four Mule variations. Alright, we're going to start off with some Isla Scotch because you guys know I love smoky stuff. This is a smoky Mule. Oh yeah. So, all these are going to start by basically filling a copper mug with some ice because... Moscow Mule, Copper Mug, you get it, right? And then we've got some lovely smoky Isla Scotch. This is Ardbeg Wee Beastie. And we're just gonna pour two ounces of our Isla Scotch into our Copper Mug. Now, if you don't have Copper Mugs, you don't have to use a Copper Mug. It's just one of those things that's kind of synonymous with a mule, but use whatever glass where you want. Half ounce of lime juice to follow up. And then we're gonna do a few bitters. You don't have to do the bitters, but I like to do two dashes of Ango. And then if you have any kind of smoky bitters, I've got these forest fire bitters here. They kind of have a, a charry, woody, it's not so much smoke, but kind of a woody kind of um, aroma to them. But it's really gonna complement the smoke from the Isla Scotch. So that's what we're using. And it's that simple for this first one. We're gonna top off with ginger beer. I have here, um, Canada Dry Premium Ginger Beer. Um, use whichever one you want. You like Fever Tree, you like Great Gentleman, whatever you got is gonna work. But we want ginger beer, not ginger ale. Ginger ale is milder. Um, ginger beer has a nice spiciness to it. And that's what you really want in a mule. For garnish here, we're gonna keep this one pretty classic. Just a nice lime wedge It's all that's required. And there it is, our smoky mule. Absolutely amazing. Um, you know, it's got the ginger beer f flavor, but then you got the scotch and the lovely smoke that just lingers around. It's so good. For our next one, we are using spiced rum, and we're also going to use some Smith & Cross funky Jamaican rum. This is a Jamaican mule. Now, the classic Jamaican mule is just spiced rum, but I wanted to, you know, up the flavor factor with by using some Smith & Cross. So once again, copper mug, ice cubes. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of your favorite spiced rum. Right, and we're building all of these right in the glass. I don't think there's much of a need to shake a mule. Everything just gets mixed together with, uh, with the ginger beer, so it's all good. After that, one ounce of Smith & Cross. Shout out to subscriber Trevor Rose for getting me this bottle. Um, if you don't have Smith & Cross, use another kind of full-bodied Jamaican rum that has a nice funk to it. It'll work just as well, but Smith & Cross is pretty incredible. After that, half ounce of lime juice. Kind of obligatory for a mule. And then we're also going to do a couple of uh, bitters here as well. I'm going to do orange bitters. We're looking for stuff to complement the spices. So orange and then these uh, cocoa bitters or chocolate bitters. Just a couple dashes of each. 
All right. Ginger beer up next. Top it off. <laughs> I'm really excited about this one. I mean, I've had just a Jamaican mule with spiced rum, but with the addition of Smith and Cross, I'm very excited. All right, give it a quick stir. For garnish here, we're going to, uh, well, first it's got a straw in there. I like to sip a, a Moscow mule through a straw. We've got a cinnamon stick, kind of accentuate those spices, and a dehydrated orange, which is for looks. All right, top it off. And there it is, our Jamaican mule with spiced rum and Smith and Cross. This thing is going to be delicious. Moving on, our third one here is one I actually did back in the summer, um, but now I have better ingredients, so I'm doing it again. This is the Pina Colada Mule. All right, so once again, we are filling our copper mug with some ice. We're starting with plantation pineapple rum. So any pineapple rum you have, we're gonna do an ounce and a half of pineapple rum. So initially, I uh, originally I just did this with uh, with just a, an aged rum. I didn't have the plantation pineapple yet. After that, shipwreck uh, coconut rum. Once again, shout out to subscriber Trevor Rose for sending this bottle to me. This stuff is amazing. I mean, you can use Malibu if that's all you got, but wow, if you can get a quality coconut rum like this, that's what you should be using. It's a full ounce of coconut rum, and that one is coconut rum. The ABV is high enough so they can call it that. Half ounce of lime juice in the cup next. And then, I didn't do this last time, but we're gonna add a couple dashes of tiki bitters. These are the uh, Elamakule bitters from Bitterman's, and they're fantastic. Just a little bit, because this stuff goes a little goes a long way. Uh, about one dash, so I wrote two, but I think one dash is plenty. Uh, it's got nice spicy notes. And here's what really makes this drink. Instead of classic ginger beer, we're using spicy pineapple soda. Now, if you can't find that, you could definitely sub with uh, ginger beer and about an ounce of pineapple juice. It'll do about the same thing, but this stuff is amazing if you can get it. Give it a stir. Oh, and that is gonna be fantastic. For garnish, we gotta make this look like a pina colada. So we're gonna do some pineapple fronds. And then we have, well, let's get our straw first. Short straw. And then we need our little skewer here with a pineapple chunk and a couple neon red cherries. And there it is, the Pina Colada Mule. This is like, yeah, it's, it's a summer mule. It's so refreshing. The pineapple, the coconut comes through. That shipwreck rum is fantastic. Um, it, a lovely drink. Up next, our final mule. We've got the New Orleans Mule. This has bourbon. It's got coffee liqueur. It's got pineapple juice. Probably the most complicated one. Um, once again, filling our copper mug with ice. We're gonna do a two ounce pour of bourbon. I'm using Maker's Mark. Use whichever bourbon you want. All right, after that, we're gonna do one ounce of coffee liqueur. Uh, this is my own homemade coffee liqueur. Check that link. Go check out how I make coffee liqueur. But use whatever you got. You got Kahlua, you got Mr. Black any other coffee liqueur will probably work just as well. Excellent, love that liqueur, oh boy, it's so good. Cold brew, very strong coffee flavor. After that, we want one ounce of pineapple juice. Pineapple and coffee go super well together. Uh, think if you've had a Mr. Bali High, same idea, great combo. Half ounce of lime juice. It's been pretty standard across all of these today. And then top it off with ginger beer. Here we go. Lovely. Give it a stir once again. And for garnish this time around, let's get our straw in there. We're going to do another pineapple frond just to indicate that this has got pineapple in it. And then we can bring back the uh, dehydrated orange. And there it is, the New Orleans Mule. Oh, I cannot wait to taste all of these, which is what I'm gonna do now. So let's taste and rate our four amazing mule variations, Moscow mule variations. These things just look so refreshing, all of them. This is gonna be amazing. Wow, all right. I'm gonna go first for the smoky mule. Oh my God. I mean, it's, it's, it's refreshing. The ginger beer, the spiciness is there, but then there's this undertone of smoke throughout. And of course, whiskey, just whiskey flavor, scotch flavor is just so much better than vodka. 
All right, next up, we've got, I've been waiting for this one, the Jamaican Mule. Oh my god, that is amazing. So, um, you get the rum, you get the spice, the vanilla and spices from the from the spiced rum up front, but then right after that, you're kind of hit in the face with that funk from the Smith & Cross, and then the ginger is there kind of throughout, but wow, that is incredible. All right, Pina Colada Mule. I had a lot of these during the summer, so I know I'm going to love it. Although this is the first time I used these ingredients and as well as the uh, Elamakule bitters. And wow, that is refreshing. That is summer, s summery, you know, summer in a, in a cup. <laughs> it's really, really good. Uh, definitely recommend that one. And lastly, the New Orleans Mule. It's good. It's good. It's, um, I, I like the combo of coffee and pineapple. I just find a little kind of overwhelming it kind of steals the show uh, the bourbon is like completely buried and even the ginger beer seems like a, a second note to the coffee pineapple so it's good but it's not my favorite I'm a little disappointed all right I'm gonna rate these so number one gotta give it to the um, Jamaican mule that thing was amazing and number two gonna give it to the smoky mule I absolutely love uh, smoky drinks and that does not disappoint number three the pina colada because it is so refreshing and summery and in last place the New Orleans which unfortunately was a little disappointing but still a good mule these are still um, four amazing variations uh, please give these a try and don't forget we've got eight more this video is titled 12 Moscow Mule Variations So go check out Tyler at the Never Empty Bottle and Vino at 60 Second Cocktails They've got eight more Moscow Mule Variations for you guys So definitely go see those videos and give them a subscribe And I'm just walking here with Odin in the park. We'll see you next time guys. Cheers <laughs>